All that ahead, but first, Thailand's largest opposition party, Move Forward, has been dissolved by order of the country's highest court over its campaign promise to reform the royal defamation law. Now, this marks the biggest blow to the party since its election victory a little more than a year ago. The judges at the Constitutional Court had ruled unanimously on the case which sought the party's disbandment. This followed an earlier ruling by that same court in January, calling Move Forward's reform campaign unconstitutional. It said it risked undermining Thailand's governance system with the king as the head of state. Move Forward denied that. Move Forward wrapped up their media conference at its headquarters just moments ago following the court order. The verdict also bans 11 of the party's executives from political office for 10 years effective immediately. This includes former Prime Minister hopeful Pitalem Jaranat. The remaining Move Forward MPs will be able to keep their seats in Parliament if they find a new political party within 60 days. The latest legal action has drawn widespread criticism, especially from party supporters. Move Forward was the biggest winner at the general elections last May, but failed to form a government subsequently. It has remained the largest opposition in Parliament. <laughs> For more, CNA Saksit Sayusambat joins us live from Bangkok. Saksit, what a difference a year makes. Are there fears of uh, public unrest following that verdict? Not very much so. Just to give you an idea where we are right now, we are opposite of the Move Forward Party headquarters. They have now uh, organized a small rally, a small gathering here. Small in numbers maybe, but not small in emotions. Earlier today, when uh, the verdict was being read out and when we had hundreds of supporters here at the headquarters looking and listening to every word of the verdict here, there were some strong emotions, to put it mildly, and especially when the judges um, ham, um, sent down the hammer, sent their verdict to dissolve the move forward party, to dissolve the biggest opposition party and to dissolve the last year's election winner, there was some very strong emotions there. But however, it is very unlikely that we see protests happening uh, compared to four years ago when the predecessor, the future former party, was dissolved at that time. Why is that the case? Well, first of all, the party here, they are very clear in the messaging. They are very clear that they are saying that things are going forward, things are moving on, and they're going to be back at the ballot. And also, on the other hand, as well, that they are, there's a stubborn defiance that they want to make things at the ballot in the legislature and not on the street. So what's next then for the members of Move Forward and for Thai politics on the whole? Well, that is definitely a negative outcome, a negative sign of Thai politics in general, seeing that the judiciary is... Um, voiding the election winner of last year. Uh, it's definitely also not something that the current government of the ruling Pertai Party wants probably as well, because they are likely getting criticised for this as well, even though in the run-up to today's verdict, they have been very insistent saying that the government has nothing to do with this court case, they haven't filed this court case, and it's not, it's not that the executive can also interfere with the judiciary. Now, what happens with this party, or with this former party rather, we're going to hear from the now ex-leader of the move forward party, Peter Lim and is also a potential successor about what's going to happen next. Absolutely proud on what I had achieved. Um, proud of my colleagues, proud of the people who have supported us, and no regrets uh, in the way I, I, uh, I've done my, my job. I have, my, I have left my dent in the universe, and I'll make sure that I pass the baton to the next generation leaders.
I, was, I think we will continue the core ideology, but the methodology would have been um, different or not. It's the decision of um, the member of the new house that we will move in. So we have to decide it again, we have to discuss it again, and we have to work in detail how to solve the problem. Now, now, we have heard here from Mr. Sirikanya, they are still very playing very coy cool here. But we do understand that they have already set up a spare party, and Ms. Sirikanya herself has said that on Friday, on August the 9th, they're going to reveal their new home, they're going to reveal what the new party is. But as of now, we are moving forward, we are moving on from move forward. Yeah, all right, there are still so many moving parts. Thank you so much, Saksit Sayasambat, reporting to us live from Bangkok.